Dear Verastructor, I am about to contradict myself quite a bit. So I debated back and forth in my own mind whether or not I should make this video because it's a video about a contradiction. And even more so, it's an existential wake up call that I think everybody perhaps once a day should remember. And I think having these videos, starting off doing these videos again and talking about our opinions and our view on truth and our view on reality has caused me to reevaluate my egoic need for absolute truth and my entitlement to being right and how heavily I can often hold on to my opinions and my morals and my ideas um, and identify with those opinions, morals, and ideas and attach them to myself. So this has led me, especially as I'm watching our videos back or um, coming up with an idea for a video, I found myself turning to this contradicting truth. Um, and I see it as a truth and maybe that makes me even more egoic than I'm letting on. But this is what I believe a truth is, is that as human beings, because we are so dimensionally limited, energetically limited, spiritually limited, um, just not necessarily on a biological level, but just especially during this time um, and because so many of us are imperfect, we're just not going to have access to all of like to the expansiveness of truth. So I have to remind myself when I'm thinking, oh, what we're doing is so good. What I'm saying is so good and so right and I'm so true and um, whatever I'm, I'm thinking, whatever type of righteousness I'm holding at the time, I, I do remember and remind myself just how little I am. Um, me and Micah talk about humanism a lot. Humanism is basically the belief that humans hold that what we make is inherently good and that progress is inherently good that our pursuit for knowledge is going to have positive consequences um, just because we're pursuing no um, knowledge, just because we're making observations, those observations are going to be accurate. We think that we don't hold this implicit bias when we truly, we can't do anything without bias. Um, Mike has made the example quite a bit about the AI that took just all the data that you can take about all kinds of things and the robot was still racist and sexist <laughs> and just horrible based on all of that information. Um, which shows that our observations, our data, our statistics are often so flawed. Human beings are so flawed and what we produce will also be flawed. So as Micah and I, you and I, Micah, are philosophizing, I wonder about, and, and as we are being critical of humanism, I often wonder about our entitlement to truth and our entitlement to our view on um, reality and our righteousness associated with it all. Because in the end, that's why we're sharing these videos is because we... We feel like what we're saying is of value and the reason that what we're saying is of value truly is because we're offering a new perspective and because we're human beings. And this is where the contradiction comes in is because we bag on humanism so, so, so much. 
um, talking about how humanism has really destroyed <laughs> our relationship to the earth, our relationship to our identities, our relationship to God, our relationship to um, nature, um, and to our own abilities as human beings, to ourselves. Yet, we have intrinsic value. And this may seem like a very simple concept. Of course, humans are flawed, yet we still have value, of course. Um, but I just want to really bring that home, <laughs> is that in this vast reality and all these rivers of reality flowing together, and it's seemingly so chaotic and it's because we're all, we are these deep fountains of unique identity, right? Um, and so I'm just amazed with those two truths. Um, I believe are truths of humanity and of life is the unbelievable power that we have to sabotage ourselves as human beings, to sabotage each other, our systems, our lives just by the way that we think just by the way that we feel just by the way that we create um, so much is at stake and at the same time we have such power for beauty and for working in symbiosis with nature and the world and we're just beautifully flawed and normally what I turn to, my, my um, pessimistic tendency is to say, yes, we are flawed and at what cost, right? <laughs> because truly it's, it has cost us a lot to be flawed as humans. We're so cut off from what's real in my eyes but the reality of it is, is that everything we're doing is real. Even if it's not what's already been established, what humans have created is real and it does have real effects on us. My ask to all watching um, is to hold these two truths and as we are in our egoic righteousness, as we are in a state of entitlement to truth and all-knowingness that we remember that even in our criticism of humanism we are still humans ourselves and that is both a blessing and a curse and it will never not be a curse and it will never not be a blessing you are a fountain of unique identity Vera Structor. Have a lovely week.